Are you taking a picture of me? No, oh, film. A film? Yeah. Wow, we're on film. About uh, snow in Chicago. I can't believe you've done away with digital productions. We're doing film right now. About snow in Chicago. Yes, I, yes well, it does, absolutely snows. We have snow trucks, we have snow plows. Yeah, it snows in Chicago. It's amazing. I was asked if it snowed in Chicago. I'm amazed by that. Well, I just think of like Hey Arnold from the show where it snows and there's a snow day episode. What the and fuck just, is Hey Arnold? Because it's like between Chicago and Philly and it's like, that's what it is. It's like, I never even heard of that though. It's a cartoon from like the 90s. It's just be Chicago. Yeah, where from. doesn't it snow in, in the United States though? Florida, Texas, Arizona, on that border and up into California but and the West Coast a bit, but it still snows in Oregon. Uh, it still snowed in the story of the Oregon coast. It still snowed on the Long Beach Peninsula of Washington when I lived there. Right. Very little. Very little. But it's still, there was a flurry. Mm -hmm. but you don't see flurries of snow in California too much. Whatever, right. 10 years. Like, it's beautiful when it snows in Central Park, New York, and it's gorgeous. But snow here, it must be intense. Like, you can't go outside if it snows here. But you, when I was younger, it was true. Coming back here, the winters are not as bad as they were when I was younger. There is something. The world is warmer. And anyone saying that must be younger than me, because anyone my age can tell it's fucking warmer. Like, the snow's less. The, the winters are not as bad. In Chicago used to have 20 below wind chill for fucking a month or two on end, but you didn't leave. You were definitely locked in the house for a month. Like, if it snows. Like, like igloo shit. Like, how long does the snow take to evaporate in Chicago? Or like, we fucking wait for no fucking snow. We're fucking monsters here. We get trucks to move it. We got salt to melt it. We'll destroy snow. We'll fucking put flamethrowers to it. I imagine, because if it's worse than this New city, York. If this city stops, the entire Midwest stops. If this city stops, you don't eat in New York. Right. You don't eat. So we have to, Chicago moves and Chicago feeds the country. We, we're the hog butcher of the world still. You know, we move all that meat all the way to west and east. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We meet. A, we move a lot of meat and we move a lot of it's corn. It's like McDonald's is here too. Yeah, that's right. We we use a lot. We so all those train. So Chicago, if Chicago shut down, New York would shut down eventually. So same as New York. If New York shuts down, the United States is. Fine. Uh, yeah, because New York is the cathedral of capitalism. Right. But what Chicago, Chicago has, has a heartland. Big, Chicago is one of those big cogs in the United States wheel. Like, if we shut down, there would be problems all over the country. You know what happened? If Chicago shut down, there would be a famine. Because right. Chicago is the, the heartland where they make all the food here. Most of it. We have the salad bowls are in California. The real salad bowls are in California. But that, but that I, I think they could be a successionist movement and have their own country. But Chicago, it seems like the American city is here. And Maybe. New York is just capitalism in effect. But. I just saw fireworks going over there. It was a lot. Right. Gosh. But yeah, I don't. I, that's neat. That's 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 uh, something I've heard. Like where Steinbeck lived, but that's the, the the salad bowl of the country. And that's where most of our vegetables are grown. Monterey and uh, right. That's the canned. Uh, yeah, I've been to Monterey. Yeah, so I've been to me too. And that road trip, and we went to Steinbeck's house and talked right. to his friends and shit like that. Canned. Uh, what is it? Canned. Uh, I've been on that same road in Monterey too. Yeah, so so seeing that situation and saying that, I can see that on the West Coast there's a lot. We produce corn in the Midwest. We produce a lot of corn and some food. I think you do you guys produce a lot of our food. We don't we can't grow avocados here. Mm -hmm. We can't grow almonds here. We can't grow citrus here. Right. We can't do any of that stuff. There's stuff that grows in California we can't do. Mm -hmm. you know, I think we could maybe we could, Idaho does potatoes real well. Right. Root vegetables here. Uh, but Idaho also throws away piles of potatoes every year because people don't buy them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think it's the lake right over there that kind of makes the psychological effect that when people are underwater, kind of like the Bay Area, you're always happy because you're near a giant body of water. You feel the water breeze in your face from the lake, and so you're never sad. And you're always happy. And I, I think, think that's it why is. it's expensive. Here's what I think it is. I'll tell you this, brother. I think you're full of shit. Okay, I live by the sea. There's a power to the sea. And I've lived in Chicago, and there wasn't the same water power here as the sea. But I can understand what you're saying. But when I came back to Chicago, I came back wilted. I was like this. I was fucking going to jump off a fucking bridge. When I came back to Chicago in the first week, I was like, man, I'm fucking as big as those fucking buildings. That's my fucking mountains. I'm as big as those fucking buildings. Those buildings are what fucking I saw every day. I was like... I'm not in fucking Oregon. That's a fucking cow town. How did that place fuck with my mind? Fuck those bitches. They couldn't survive a week in Chicago. So then I was like, it was the vibe of Chicago and how it's hard. It's, it, look at those buildings. Right. Those are man-made. Those are like, every day I can look at that and go, I can make that. I can make this. Right. How did I become an artist, dude? 
and and Picasso in downtown. Your dad was Picasso, your dad was on Sears Tower too. He was. Right? He was building that. Mike, Mike, yes, he helped with the fountain. And then the Picasso was built, and I saw all that craziness. And I was able to go to Picasso and climb on this in a mirror. I was able to climb on. I'm a fucking from white trash bullshit from downstate. They don't know what the fuck a mirror is. They don't know what the fuck that shit is. The reason I know about that is because of fucking Mayor Daly putting that shit in there, and Chicago's hating it. Chicago's hate. Chicago hating it, but Chicago's. Constant reminder of man's strength, the strength of man. Those are pyramids, bitch. Yeah, Those pyramids. are fucking pyramids. Those are as bigger and better than the pyramids. Bigger yeah. and better than the pyramids. We beat the pyramids in Chicago. We beat the pyramids in New York. We beat them. But how do you feel that Chicago is the third place in everything? But it's not the third place in everything. It's the inventor of everything. Gene Shepard. It's the inspiration for most everything. That's like saying Jimi Hendrix is third place because he didn't play as well as someone else. He's influenced way more people. In I mean, you got Chicago house music. That's one thing. We have a ton of stuff out of Chicago. You're crazy. Right. Blues, jazz, a ton of that stuff. A ton of those people. Oh, no. And result. Some of those people that would play that music would come here and say, absolutely, Chicago's the home of the blues. Wax tracks. Yeah, wax tracks. Time I mean, FDM. Industry, industrial music would, would yeah. not be anything without Chicago. We're, right. we're industrial here. Yeah, industrial that's why, music that's came why, here. That's why, yeah, Genesis Pjorge came here. Right. He was like... I feel good here. Tam FDM's playing two shows, three, I think, two nights for yeah, their Yeah, Chicago's court. a lot more... You know, you're talking to me. I'm, I, the only thing that separates from Indiana from Chicago is those big buildings and me. Artists like me. We come out of Chicago. Tell me who the fuck did what I did in, in, in California, New York. Nobody. Who fucking brought Satanic to the world? Nobody like that. I mean, Anton LaVey, of course. But you know what I'm saying. We've done... Satanic Temple shit and all that stuff came out of here. Yeah. 